Hey everybody, uh, still at home. <laughs> Found out today that I have to not do seven days of compliance, but I have to do 30. Uh, so we'll be going back to work for about two weeks, and then I'll have to take 10 days off because my physical will have expired. So, you know, praise the Lord. Um, I'm in Deuteronomy uh, 33. And uh, I'm just going to read a few verses to you. Uh, verse 26. Uh, there is none like unto the God of it, uh, Sheshuron, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. Listen to this verse. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountains of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel." Who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Now I know these verses are referring to the children of Israel as they're going into the uh, promised land, but... I want you to focus just a moment on verse 27 and the first part of that. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. I know he's speaking to Israel, but I'm going to claim that promise. You know, we have a, or troubles come in this world, troubles come, <laughs> financial troubles. Uh, health troubles some people get in trouble uh, literally with the law and things of this nature but if you're a Christian I believe this can apply to you also that no matter how low you go if you hit rock bottom financially or spiritually or if you hit rock bottom with drugs or alcohol or anything else if you are a Christian underneath all that is the everlasting arms. Praise God. The everlasting arms will hold you up. A, I did a word search. There's 91 times the word everlasting shows up in your King James Bible. And it runs the bandit from the uh, everlasting covenant to with no uh, to the to the end of the everlasting uh, punishment, and there's a but in there several times it says everlasting life, and praise God we have everlasting life, and praise the Lord that He is an eternal God, and underneath anything you can put anything in front of it, underneath though that is God's everlasting arms holding the believer up. Anyway, that was kind of encouraging to me today, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, if you don't know the eternal God, and you don't have the everlasting arms underneath you, I would say, why not? Why not? This world's gone so crazy. You've probably tried everything under earth and heaven. Uh, to try to fill a hole in your soul. And the only thing that can do that is our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the gospel. The good news is that Jesus died on a cross for you. He was buried for three days. And after three days, he rose again, according to the scriptures, for you, my friend. The Bible says that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus said, 
If you will come unto him, he will in no wise cast you out. I implore you, if you do not know the Lord Jesus, or if you're playing some game and you know you don't know him, uh, get right with God today. Put your trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, and then you will have underneath you and underneath all your problems the everlasting arms holding you up. May God bless every one of you.